has no problem placing you in a tiny little box that seems neat, acceptable, and convenient. Your challenge will be to define yourself by your own terms. When you hit that wall, when you lose that motivation, I want you to think about three things. I want you to look around, look within, look forward, and look up. Life is not a series of chances, but a series of choices. Choose your purpose. Choose to be authentically you. And all the other noise has to be part of that. Okay. I want to give you guys a, a little bit of a hint of what's going on. First of all, hello. I think I tried to vlog at some point this week during the snow days earlier this week, and I don't think it happened. And I have so much to catch you guys up on. The first being what's happening right now. So I'm currently in a dissertation boot camp that's held by Ohio State's diversity office. They do it every year. And it's really to help um, people who are ABD, which is post-candidacy. We've already done our comp exams and we're trying to finish our dissertation to defend so we can be done. And so this is supposed to motivate us. You know, I, I had no idea what this was gonna be like. I'm assuming it will be a whole lot of writing time, um, especially this year with it being virtual. But so far it's speakers, which is great. You know, a little motivational kick to kick us off. But you know, in a few minutes, here's the thing. Weekends are my only time to do uninterrupted writing, right? Like I work a full-time job as an intern throughout the week. So if I'm not writing reports all during the day or like going to meetings, at night I'm writing reports and I just don't have time. Sometimes I have time to pick up my dissertation, but not always. So I need my weekends, right? Like I can't just give up a weekend to sit and hear motivational speeches all week, okay? Or all weekend. So I'm gonna let the motivational speeches go at max another hour before I hop off and get myself settled to do some writing. We'll see. I think today will be fine. I just don't know. They didn't send an agenda or anything, so I don't know what else is supposed to happen this week. And I'm not about to sit on Zoom all weekend after sitting on Zoom all week for um, for work. So that's what's happening now. Um, but I wanted to update you guys because something really cool happened last night. Again, y'all, I promise I'm going to eventually do better with putting my camera out. But yesterday I kind of had some time to just chill like I had just had uh, quite a few meetings this week and I didn't really have any reports that I absolutely had to do last night so I was like you know I'm just gonna take the evening off like I just need to breathe yesterday I had a lot of anxiety during work for a lot of different reasons maybe I'll get into that eventually the point I'm getting at is I knew that for my defense did I tell you guys I scheduled my defense I think I said that <gasps> Did I not put that in a vlog? Oh my gosh, I really don't remember y'all because there's so much footage I haven't edited. But if I haven't told you guys already, I did schedule my defense date. If you don't know what a dissertation defense is, it's literally when I have to go and stand in front of my committee and uh, after I've written my full dissertation, I have to talk about it, do a PowerPoint on it, and then I have to answer questions from the public and then answer questions from my committee. Um, and then if I pass, then I'll be Dr. Gabriel Hicks. So. I explain that because like people assume we know these things and obviously before I went into a PhD, people would talk to me like I knew this stuff and I'd be like, mm-hmm, I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. So that's what that is. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet because I just, I just wanna keep it a secret for now. Like the people that need to know, know. And I actually sent out invites to my family members um, and my friends that I wanted to attend because it's on Zoom because of Corona. Um, but I actually like that because a lot of people that I love from like around the world pretty much around the nation let me say that can all attend um by the link but something i always talked about doing i saw this in a few situations where people had um like loved ones wear a t-shirt to their defense um you know just so you can like look out and see your people you know it helps you not to be so nervous and all that jazz so i've always said that that's something i wanted to happen and i was playing around with some designs last night because i was like it's my night off, like I'm just gonna chill. I'm getting excited about like all the things that are coming. I actually met with my advisor last night and you know, hearing her say that I'm on track to graduate and you know, it just was like a moment. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna play around with some designs finally, right? Cause she get that underway. And this is what we landed on. Okay, there we go. So the design says village and then it has Dr. Gabrielle C. Hicks, PhD underneath and white. And I'm so excited, you guys. I don't wanna miss this, y'all. I think they're Thank finally talking about what's happening this weekend, so I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so I actually didn't have to uh, stop the video. 
I'm just gonna let them keep talking. What was I talking to y'all about? Oh, the shirt. So y'all, get this. So I was just playing around with designs on Custom Ink. I used to do all of like t-shirt stuff on Custom Ink, but I haven't had a reason to really make a shirt in a long time. So I get on there to play around with some designs. I came up with two. I don't know if I kept the other one. Let me see if I have the other one. Which says, we're with Come on, focus. We're with the doctor. So same colors, just we're with the doctor. And then my name underneath that. And I'm pretty sure my mom and dad said that they're still gonna get that one. <laughs> um, even though we went with the village one for everybody. And we went with the village one so that I could wear it too. Like I wouldn't wear a shirt that says we're with the doctor because I mean, it's me. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Okay, sorry. That was not supposed to be a moment. Anywho. Yeah, I would wear that shirt. So we went with Village. I just felt like Village was the message, you know, because all the people wearing it have really truly been my village, right? Like I can't invite everybody to the defense. So really the ones that haven't really thought about people who really contributed to my journey and prayed me through and funded me through. And I mean, the list goes on. And y'all, I sent out all the invitations today via text just for people to save the date, really. It's not the official invitation. And I sent the link for the shirts because the window closes at the end of February. Do you know there are 17 orders right now? Like 17. 17 like every time I see one come in I'm like sobbing and people are leaving notes because there's like a note box where you can you know it says note to the organizer and typically that would be like for you know if they have questions about the order or something everybody's using that box to like just say words of encouragement or say how excited they are or blessed they are to be a part of this journey y'all I have been no good okay I was bawling my eyes out last night because it's really starting to set in after hearing my advisor say like we're really here like it's it's really yeah like y'all <laughs> oh my gosh every time I stop and think about it it's just like wow and honestly to be 100% honest even though I still have work to do on my dissertation before we even get to that moment this is so much motivation. I'm so excited. So let me keep listening to this so I don't miss thanks. anything. So thanks. I, guess I just want to make sure I told you guys that before I forget and I'll put you guys in on the other stuff later. Hi, Gabriel. I'm sorry. We went a little bit longer. You're fine. It's totally fine. Okay. okay. I hope you heard some of that. I did. I I was listening on the last part because I'm like, I'm, I'm sure I need to hear that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what I was saying to her, um, I'm actually saying to you too. I know you guys had to pivot, and I know that it was it was disappointing in some ways, but because you're doing this massive review, I think it is setting you up. I don't know what your plans are following, if you're going back to schools or if you're going to go into higher ed, but um, it will set you up to do many studies following, because you'll have all of this breadth of knowledge behind you. Yeah. So anyone even recognize that as a reality um, are they included in the sample or if it's a conceptual piece have they written in something that um, you know makes makes it clear that they understand that there's a disproportionality for urban and what that means for our urban students so that's that last component that I'll be looking at excellent I love it and you um, your writing is solid you write very well thank you I don't know what your background is but it's it's very good Thank you. Um, so my first question to you then, if this is chapter one, the introduction, Yes. where, where are we going from here? Yes, so chapter two is my um, lit review. Okay. But I, I plan to be here at eight o'clock okay. and meet with you again then. And okay. I'd like to hear where you are at that point. Okay, eight o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, we'll All see right. you soon. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so lit. <laughs> This is so lit, this is so lit. Wow, that was really dope. She's amazing. Y'all, see this is what I'm saying. This is why God be having me crying because the way he be setting stuff up, like, he just know what he be doing. Why do I feel like this dissertation boot camp is about to get my whole life together? I don't know, y'all. I'm scared to take a break because I gotta finish chapter two by the time we get back on at eight. Can we do it? I have two hours. I think I can do it. I was still editing chapter two. She said, um, so can I expect chapter two tonight or, or by t early tomorrow? I said, yes, ma'am. I said, I think I only have a little bit left, so I will I will uh, do chapter two tonight. She said, okay, I'll look for chapter two when we check in at eight o'clock. I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah,
Saturday I am still a little bit out of breath from my stress this morning Woo! today is day two of the dissertation boot camp um, I don't know if I updated you guys last night but I did finish the chapter that I was working on last night um, which is super exciting because that was my goal for day one a boot camp and boot camp was dope I know I told you guys like I wasn't really sure of the direction of the weekend but it's been amazing <sighs> okay wait. Woo! it's been amazing i had a lot of anxious en energy um and tension in my neck and my jaw last night um that's usually what happens even when i'm productive with my writing i just like i don't know it's just anxious energy and i'll probably have it until the document is done okay but I'm really excited for day two. My goal is to have um, my next chapter completely outlined, which actually I have parts of all of my chapters written and the outlines for all of them are done. Um, but that's what my coach wanted me to have for our next check-in in a couple hours. It's 9.57. So I have two, three, three hours before my next check-in with her. So. I've got some time but this morning I woke up they had us like they were like shower actually she wanted me to take a bath last night um, and just relax myself be in the bed by 10 30 um, and have my meals prepped for the day they were like don't have you know ideas of trying to cook a whole bunch of food tomorrow like this, this is not the weekend for cooking they were like um, you need to also choose foods that are not going to um, make you sleepy so like filling up on fast food and all that they were like no you need to have some some good meal choices for this weekend so that you can very quickly put them together eat them and they'll energize you and not make you sleepy which is so true y'all and that has happened to me in the past where I'm like, oh yes, I'm hungry right now. I'm going to get a Chipotle bowl and I'm going to be so filled and ready with energy to do work. Y'all, I eat that Chipotle bowl and I be knocked out, okay? It's nap time. So, I'm excited for today, guys. I'm really hoping to have another chapter done this weekend. If I get another chapter done this weekend, I will probably cry because one and some change left um, to have a done dissertation, which is ahead of schedule, y'all. That would be ahead of schedule. I am so excited, guys. It's really happening. People are ordering nice shirts. I think I told you that yesterday, so I'm really excited about that. Um, you saw this morning, I wanted to go ahead and do some morning meditation to just help clear some of that um, tension and pain that I have on this side. It's always on this side right here. I really feel like a chiropractor and a masseuse would have a field day with me. Um, so. I did that so I could just relax and get in the right headspace. And then I did a stretch, exercise, dance, get moving activity, get the blood flowing. And already the tension that I feel on the side of my face and neck um, and really through my shoulder is like subsided, has subsided a lot. So I am right now about to make some um, breakfast. Yeah, it's still breakfast time. And some coffee. My kitchen is a mess. <laughs> But I'm going to make some breakfast and some coffee and then we're going to jump into working on this chapter so I can make sure I have everything for my next check-in. I just can't believe this is really happening, guys.
sent me a text. She said, I found a great verse for us to stand on and speak out loud in faith. Isaiah 35 and 4. And I guess the translation is called The Voice. I've never heard of The Voice Bible. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Um, Isaiah 35 and 4. Tell those who worry, the anxious and fearful, take strength, have courage. There's nothing to fear. Look here, your God. Right here is your God. The balance is shifting. God will right all wrongs. None other than God will give you success. He is coming to make you safe. Amen. Yes, mommy. Of course I forgot to pull out my camera just now. That was a quick check-in. Um, she's, I just, I wanna capture her on camera. I think I've captured her at least once on camera. Um, just so y'all can see how dope she is and how dope our check-ins are. Um, but she told me to get some sort of snack and take a short walk so but she said no more than 20 minutes I'm telling y'all this is boot camp they're not playing with us <laughs> they're not playing they said go ahead and get this dissertation done so I'm gonna listen so what I'm going to do right now is put my shoes on and I guess I can take you guys because I'm just gonna walk around well dang I always be nervous about showing y'all where I live because I don't need y'all coming to find me I am going to take a little walk. I should probably eat my snack while I go. I don't really have an idea of a snack. I haven't been drinking my water. It's the same kind of food that y'all saw this morning. So let me just... content but I think a lot of the brain work that I was doing in this portion will help me get way more content hopefully the next section okay um, but it was a good it was a good start we're gonna do the same thing we did last night and take a minute to really prep for bed okay so you can get up fresh in the morning you might get another hour or two in before mm -hmm. our meeting so yeah okay okay sounds good okay i got your goals down thank You're you doing great okay thank you see you later bye okay. can i just say i really love the fact that she says my writing is good did i already have this moment with y'all if i did i'll just edit this out but do you know how validating that is to hear people with their doctorate already and years of experience and like a whole associate professor out in these streets publishing. I, you know, it's just those little drop-ins every once in a while that remind you that you're doing something, you know? Proud of myself. Guys, I'm on FaceTime with my parents. Today was their 33rd Ooh. wedding anniversary. Ooh. My mother doesn't want to be on the camera because she has her hair scarf on. So. <laughs> but they're here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Your brother said Jesus was 33. <laughs> uh, see, that's the one biblical fact that he knows that Jesus is 33 when he died. Don't ask him nothing else. <laughs> My dad is growing a beard, y'all. Look at him. For the first time in his life, I don't know what to do about this. I've never seen my dad with a beard. Don't he look cute? Him so cute. I told him he gotta be careful. He about to be in the in the Zaddy League. These, these these young foxes gonna be trying to get them a zaddy. Yeah, but you know what? I'm the only one that got the period. Like, period. Thirty three well, years on this thing. Thank you. Well. Well, Saints, I done good today. I got the stamp of approval from my coach during the last session. 
I didn't record that one because um, I figured you guys might be tired of seeing these check-ins. She is the GOAT. I am so pleased with her as my coach. We were just laughing like, why did we never meet each other while I was actually at OSU? It's kind of hilarious, but I'm so glad that I got paired with her. She was like, you did all this today? And I was like, yes. <laughs> so it's all set up. I am pretty confident that I will finish um, chapter three tomorrow and it'll be behind me. Um, and like I told you, I have parts of all the chapters written. It's just, I can't claim that well, I can claim one and two are done done. Like I've gone through, to me done means like all my wording is there. I've gone through and added all my in-text citations. I've added all my citations to the references. My figures are in place. That is done to me. Done meaning ready to send to my editors that are helping me out, which are all angels, by the way. A extensive progress on today to the point where I really feel like it'll be in the done done category tomorrow. I'm just going to relax, get ready for bed, and get ready to knock out chapter three tomorrow. That's my update. Um, if this video is not incredibly long, then I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. Oh my gosh. This is the day that I really want to finish this chapter. My eyes are already twitching at the thought. I'm kind of having a weird time getting going this morning. And my last check-in is in 10 minutes. So it's probably just going to be more of a motivational speech type thing to get me through. Um, there's also a writing group this morning. Um, writing workshop which I'm assuming is just people sitting on Zoom. It says you can drop in and out, um, but we're all just writing, right? So it's kind of like motivation seeing other people work. So I'm gonna log on to that as soon as I get off of my check-in with my coach this morning. I really want it to be today, so I think because of that, I am like antsy. It's like I want it so bad that I'm like, my brain is just stuck. So, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it's just all in my head. So, I'm gonna log on to my last check-in real quick. Morning. Good morning. How are you, Gabrielle? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How did your morning start? Uh, it's been a slow start, I'm not That's gonna okay. lie. I suggest you do something that you know is gonna bring you the most uh, satisfaction. Okay. To start the morning and then carry it on through in the afternoon. If you feel the need to scroll, go ahead. If you don't, let's let's get back to chapter three. Okay. Okay? Sounds good, thank you. I'll see you at 11.30. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. You know what, she said take a walk outside, but you guys, I don't think I showed you what outside looks like. Let's, let's take a look at outside. Do y'all see it? <laughs> so, I, you know, I don't mind a good cold air to wake me up, but what I don't want is that kind of cold air, okay? Let's do like a, um, like a dance one or something. I'm about to be done with chapter three. Yay! Woo -woo! So understand where you are in the moment and make sure that you are, are taking good care of yourself. Because when you finish this, <clears throat> and something I've kind of shied away from because I've never known how to handle the limelight, um, story for another time. <laughs> but what you will need to know is when you finish this, eyes are on you. And they're very impressionable eyes, they're young eyes, they're watching you, um, and you bring the value to the PhD. To be honest, uh, my weekends have been looking like dissertation boot camp pretty much uh, <laughs> all semester. Um, and mainly because Caitlin and I can both attest to this, we work full time um, as school psychology interns during the week. So my mind, and our job is testing students, writing sometimes 20 page reports for individual students. So my mind trying to do that during the week and then write, it's very difficult for me. I don't get a lot of writing time during the week because my mind is just full of things. So my weekends, I think, have been looking like dissertation boot camp, but I think the most takeaway, the biggest takeaway for me is that getting started and winding down piece. 
Um, I don't think I've realized how critical that is to how productive I am during the day. Um, so a lot of your advice for when to shut down, what to do to actually relax your mind, uh, how to get started in the morning, like this is probably the most, my Apple Watch always tells me when to move and when to like, you know, get up or breathe. And sometimes I don't listen because I'm just like so stuck in what I'm doing. But when every time you told me to breathe, you were laughing, calling <laughs> calling yourself our mom, but I said, <laughs> I was telling my mom, she was like, you don't even listen to me when I tell you to go walk and, and get up. But if Dr. Beer told me to get up and go take a walk, it's, I'm like walking around my neighborhood, like, okay. <laughs> and it was so helpful. It was so helpful. I've realized how much I give of myself mm. to other people and things. I see that. And I said, oh my, like, I do not have to pick up the phone. I do not have to check in. And I don't have to you know how hot. There's just things I do. You know what, Caitlin, I want to say something to that because I know I was looking at some other systematic reviews or um, ones kind of related to, to mine and, you know, each of them had a different way of doing things and every time I would read them, instead of just taking what I needed, I would always feel this pressure of like, do I need to change how I'm doing mine because of how they did theirs? And something powerful I think I've gotten between my advisor and just, um, you know, other people is long as you can justify your decisions like at the end That's of the day right. you are a researcher right That's so right. if I'm, I'm making these decisions for my reasoning here it is I have some things to back it up that that's it you know anything that's else put in the limitations right. you know what I'm saying like this is my study and this is what I decided to do step into the next step into the next segment of your life and when you look back and you think fondly think fondly of me Absolutely. or me or <laughs> Absolutely. all of it all of it a period <laughs> You be safe. Thank Stay you. Well. You too. Take good care of yourselves. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah! Y'all. Uh... <laughs> this was actually so dope. I was so hesitant. This has been such an incredible weekend. I mean, you hear her. She's incredible. <sighs> this has just really inspired me and motivated me to get this done. When things are great, I call my mother, okay? If you don't know anything about that, I'm sorry, I, I eat. Oh, this is oh! Oh! opportunity to fix my hair. Oh! Oh! All right, baby. How you I, feeling? I went to, I went to Fairline. Uh, Fay Family Fairline. How you? Girl, them people. How you feeling? Checking in, I'm pretty much. I'm gonna finish chapter two today. This is starting to become a game. Like, can I do it? Can I beat the clock? I really, I really think I can do it, you guys. I am making so much progress. I was making so much progress that I have rewarded myself. I had seven straight pages, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go celebrate. So even though I am much overweight from dissertation life, and have no business celebrating with food, I went and celebrated with food. <laughs> I got a burger, a very large burger that I would never order otherwise from Wendy's. I think it was called a pretzel pub bacon some situation, some kind of double. It's hard. I can only focus on one major thing at a time, okay? Right now, it's just get graduated. So afterward, if I'm 30, 40 pounds overweight, we'll fix it then. And that's, that's my resolution. But anyways... <laughs> I'm going to do a fire real quick. It is cold outside. It was snowing like crazy. I showed you guys earlier, but it all melted pretty much. Um, but it is cold and I was just outside when I went to go get the food. So I'm gonna set a fire, give myself a few jumping jacks to get going, and I'm gonna knock out the rest of chapter three. So. <laughs> It is much later than what I was hoping for as far as getting in the bed, but 
you know, hey. I don't I don't have an answer. I don't have I don't have a reason. I just I actually do have a reason, but I'm not gonna bore you with it. I'm just coming on to close out the vlog of boot camp weekend. Um did I finish chapter three? What did I tell you I was working on three? Yes. Did I finalize chapter three? No, I did not. You know what I think? I think technically I have over the next two weeks, even though I, don't, I really don't want to take that long. I have over the next two weeks for my results chapter, finishing all my graphs um, and write-ups for my results will be over the next two-ish weeks. Um, but like I said, the work of all of my chapters has already been started, right? So at this point, I'm literally just forcing myself to finalize the chapters get for uh graphs figures all that kind of stuff created so i don't feel behind even though my goal was to have this chapter done this weekend <laughs> i don't feel behind and i know that i can buckle down and knock out bits and pieces of this chapter throughout the week finalize it friday night at the latest um and then get to working on my graphs and stuff for my next chapter. It's like, I feel like because I'm rearing up on the end, it, it's nerve wracking. Cause it's like, I, I see it, I see it, I see the end. And I just have to go on and see what the end's gonna be. <laughs> so, it's okay guys, it's gonna get done, okay? This is reminding me a lot of candidacy and I had way less time to finish candidacy. I had 10 weeks to do 100 pages and I did it, so. If I can do that in 10 weeks, then I can do, I can finish this dissertation I've been working on for the last uh, year and some change, okay? I can do it. I can do it. All that said, y'all probably didn't wanna hear any of that. I love you. And uh, why, why is it that YouTubers always find other things to say when closing out the video? Like just close out the video. This is not the last time I'm gonna talk to you guys. Right, okay, I'm going to bed. Good night, bye, see you in the next video. <laughs>